Congratulations to our fathers. I wish you all a happy Father's Day. And not only to our fathers, but to our families, our mothers, our children, young and old. What a wonderful opportunity it is for all of us to celebrate fathers. It is another Father's Day. And we are glad that the Lord has given us a mighty revelation again this time around. The theme for this year's Father's Day is so lovely and beautiful. The friendly father. What a beautiful combination. A father that is also friendly. Wow. I do really pray that it will be a wonderful Father's Day for us. Fathers, we do really look forward to you again considering this topic and ensuring that every lesson of this topic mixes up with faith in each one of you as fathers and you get it displayed. A friendly person is somebody that is close. A friendly person is someone that is honest. A friendly person is somebody that is caring. A friendly person is somebody that encourages. No wonder the Bible will say to us in the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 21, Fathers, do not exasperate your children that they may not be discouraged. In other words, everything fathers do must be that which will encourage the children. Fathers must be friends. Friends are approachable. Friends are confidence. People you can open your mind to and tell exactly how you feel. Friends are very caring. Friends are very tolerant. Friends are honest. They tell us the truth and yet in love and that telling us the truth does not destroy our friendship. Friends don't have to agree all the time. There may be times when we disagree with one another, but it doesn't spoil the friendship. What we know is that we are friends. Friends must be trustworthy. Friends must be dependable. And friends must be helpers, one of another. To call every father a friend means that every father must have an open door. You must be approachable by your children. They want to see you. They want to talk with you. They want to open their minds to you. Sometimes fathers, we spend all our time on our businesses looking for the economic strength to develop the family. While that is good, and nobody's against that. We must not forget that the search for economic strength, economic growth, and economic stability can make us become friendless. Some fathers glue their eyes into their work from morning to night, and the children cannot approach them, let alone open their minds to tell them how they feel. So part of the uh, problems we have in the society today is that when children are at home, our youngsters, they do not find friendliness in the home. But if fathers begin to see themselves as friends, the friendship will be towards the mother. The friendship will be towards the children. The friendship will be towards the entire household. Even those that are servants or workers, within the household, will see a friendly father as a father indeed. I want to therefore encourage us to ensure that we are friendly fathers. We are communicating fathers. We are caring fathers. When things go well as a father, congratulate members of the family. That means you're a friendly person. When things go wrong, be there with them sympathize with them and encourage them that things can be better. And once you are there as a friend and you are there as a dependable person, definitely the homes will be different and the society will be better. So we're glad that we're at another Father's Day and we pray that God will make our fathers truly friendly fathers and there will be cohesion in the homes, there will be unity in the homes, there will be oneness in the homes. And when we have beautiful homes, then we have beautiful schools and beautiful societies. Fathers, 
Congratulations for another Father's Day. And may you all be friendly fathers. Let us pray. Almighty God, we just want to thank you for these wonderful fathers. We know that many of them have a lot of cares in their hearts. They are caring about the family, caring about business, caring about the nation, caring about how things will go. And uh, sometimes they forget to be the friendly fathers that they ought to be. Lord, we pray that this year you will deconstruct all those cares that are taking fathers away from the friendliness which they should exhibit and demonstrate to all those within the circle of their influence, particularly to our mothers and the children. Let there be friendliness, let there be friendship, so that your name will be glorified and uh, families will become stronger and built up with greater cohesion, bringing greater glory to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.